Semi-final, it's me 14-12 in front of the Camden Rams. Like Sheen and Shane Turnbull with you for the second half of this one this afternoon. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on MSR. Afternoon as we get underway for the second half. The final 40 minutes of the day. In a very long cold afternoon at the office here at Harvey Shepherd Field so the Roosters and the Rams fighting on the okay there we go the result there she was there I think we've resolved our issues, having a few technical issues. It's during the afternoon, apologies if we have had any problems with the other system. Soldier on as best we can for the remainder of the afternoon. We've had the Shepherd Field, haven't missed any action. And they had a minute in the second half. Camden in front. Camden behind by two, 14-12. On the MacArthur insulation scoreboard. High kick downfield. Taken by Steely Brown, running left to right as we look at it in the second half. This team's desperate to get through to next week's preliminary final at Thelmy Sports Ground. See the home side fighting their way up field. Five metres short of halfway, there's Corey White straight up the middle. Great run from Corey White over the 30. Good run from him towards the 20. Ragdoll Blake Sutton drags him to ground about 25 metres out from the line. Chris Brown will kick over the top, taken out after the kick. Sits up for Shipley. Nice little step, beats one. Can't get back into the field of way too far. Only pulled down about five metres out from the line. In the southwestern corner of the ground. We're going to our left in the second half, Bill Mir. Defending the old scoreboard end. And defending the golf club end in the second half. That was a great take there by uh, Shipley. Done the old little spin around and they got himself back into the field of play. Great work there. And uh, Bruce is now making the hard yards by spreading the ball wide now here's a chance for Riley Nunn on the outer side the eastern side of the ground in front of a very vocal and healthy crowd here at Harvey Shepherd Field Eddie Payer cross field kick Josh Goulton takes that one nicely measured it well up to the 40 he goes in centre field plays it now seven metres short of halfway when he's held in centre field to the left hand side they go Steely Brown up the middle. It's a few metres. Corey White trying to milk the penalty, not having any joy. Makes 15, 20 metres instead. That's more like it from the, the number 14. Been very explosive in the second half. Corey White made some good yards up the middle. Some lazy marker defence and middle defence there by the forwards from Thelmy. He's been very good so far today. As we see, that's the 16, Nick Daly on the field for a rare run. Junior right, he's been good off the bench as well. They're 10 metres out on the last, the Rams. They go out at dummy half, Corey White gets it back to Chris Brown. Through the hands, Powers tries to dab a kick through, but stubbed it. Eddie Payer to the 30, meets his opposite in Brown and gets pulled to Brown to in the tackle there. 32 metres out, 15 in Western side. 14-12, Phil Me leads the minor semi. Holding on by a fingernail, four gone, second half. Surprised Eddie Pay didn't use one of the plays there backing up to get a few extra yards out of it, so he would have got 
some great new ball movement there, because only would have been the two on one opportunity for the uh, Thelma Roosters. Now the Roosters, 40 metres out from the Camden line. That's uh, the 16 there in Rawith Horu. Get 30 metres out from the line on the last. Arm goes up from Sheldrick. Back it comes. Payer. Cross field bomb. Not a bad looking effort. Blake Sutton chases after it. Doesn't get it. Steely Brown outstanding at the back. Crunch Jordan Tonga High. Gives him everything and then some. That will rattle the chains for a week. Oh, Jordan Tonga High. Oops. Steely Brown. <laughs> You're a braver note, man than what I am. Note to self, don't do that again. Goulton up the middle. Oh, that was a bell ringer. That was a big hit from years gone by. The Rams to the left-hand side. Patel has been dangerous all afternoon. Back slammed into the turf. Five short of halfway. That's really woken the game up after half time. Five gone, no change. 14-12 Roosters, 35 to go. Chris Brown. Punches the kick downfield, 30 metres out is where the Rams' defence lines up. They gain an extra 10. Like Sutton, three down, 22 out. 22 in Western side, a little bit slow to his feet, Blake Sutton. Just a little bit slow and steady to his feet. And Steve Kemp comes in off the wing to lend a hand. Watch some of those great big hits. Get onto YouTube and search uh, Group Six Rugby League. Group Six Rugby League, and uh, if you want to watch a replay of that, beautiful hit by Jordan Tonga High, with uh, commentary from with us. With commentary with us, uh, that'll be on YouTube sometime this evening, or possibly tomorrow at the latest. We'll update our website as well in the next day or two. CarpetSportsRadio.com. Got time off here, six and a bit minutes gone. If you have enjoyed a game or you want to hear a classic again, head to MacArthurSportsRadio.com slash archive and have a look in the archives. Plenty of football to be found. All the codes from across the MacArthur over the last couple of years. We enjoy doing this every weekend. We have a lot of fun doing it at the same time. I think Benny Rees has come back on for the Rimmers. Get back underway. I think that's number five. That is number five. Indy card. Indy change card being held there for the Rams. Reason for that quick stop it because he's uh, decided to ask the trainer to leave quietly for linking around on the field when they're not supposed to. Right, okay. So we're back underway. Six and a half minutes gone. Second half. Number 15 for the Rams. Just kind of just that was uh, Andrew Horn who's worked hard. Benny Wee. King Kong rolls forward to the 30. Good run there from Weir. 22 in Western side. What have the Rams got? Chris Brown, short ball, then Powers. Powers to the outer side. Can't find a way through. Arm goes up last tackle. Referee calls back the short side defence. That's played at by Thormir. That'll be a Camden scrum feed. That'll be a Camden scrum feed. That was definitely played at. So Camden get the scrum feet 10 metres out. And he definitely knows he played at that too, and he's just like giving himself straight up. But uh, silly play there. Like if he just let that go, that would have ran into touch and they get the ball back to the Roosters. Unfortunately, now Camden are a great attacking position. 20 in from the western side, 10 out from the try line. Clock ticking down, 32 and a half minutes remaining in the minor semi final. One of these teams have that long remaining in their year. Will it be the black? Will it be the. Tri colours from here at Camden or the Moran and Gold from the Wall and Dilly. Hopefully, these tri colours aren't supported by Uncle Nick. <coughs> I don't think they've got the same Uncle Nick on board. They've got Uncle Nick crouched down on the sideline, but he doesn't have the same influence. Not the same checkbook either. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, I'm sure he's, there's no secret there. He doesn't carry that sort of checkbook around as yeah. we see the. No sombreros, any. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Chris Brown takes a high ball. Powers, Steely Brown, long ball, Galton for the corner, back on the inside, no, he's gone into touch, he's gone into touch. So it'll be a scrum feed to Thilmy, 10 metres out, 20 metres in, western side of the ground. For all the wingers these days in this current modern game, it's basically all acrobatic. You know, they can dive from 10 metres out and put themselves in weird angles and, and score contort, great shots. Can contort, contort their bodies oh. and still score a try. Yeah, incredible. Come on, James, stuff. lift your game. <laughs> <laughs> nah, great effort there by Gordon. Nearly got it there. Yeah, did a very good job to almost uh, 
to get over the line. Scrum fed and won by the Roosters now. 25, uh, 15 out in the middle of the field. Looks like that's Jacob Loco taking a great hit up. Tackle there by Benny Weir. Hopefully the boys will hold out for the next half hour or so. 31 minutes remaining. Another great tackle there by Ben Weir and the 17 there from Junior Camden. right. Junior right. 30 metres out. Kill Mr. out of dummy half. Goes to the left hand side. Dean Musco about to come back on for the Rams. Rowie Paru having a break. Bottle in hand. Oh, Ball great. around the corner was a brilliant one. Another one found Justin Smith. Alan Shipley down the western touchline. They won't catch him. He manages to get to the try line. Ankle tapped on his way through. Chris Brown the covering. Tackle was in despair, but he couldn't get there in time. Ten minutes gone, second half. The Carbon Insulation scoreboard. It's still near 18. Camden 12. We're getting blown away in Camden. Wow, what a great try there from the Thilmere Roosters. Great offloading there from the second rowers. And uh, Shipley, great pace down there on the sideline. Chris Brown coming across in cover defence. Tried for the ankle tap. Just got a clip on him, but not good enough to stop Shipley from scoring another try this afternoon. That's his second of the day. 18-12 the score for MacArthur Insulation. 10 gone, second half. Mike Sheen and Shane Turnbull with you. You hear Shane, thanks to John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. Level 1 1 10 Queen Street, Campbelltown. Uh, He's in a lot of trouble. It, it is Jordan Tonga. That is definitely Jordan Tonga high. I think that ankle that he might have injured earlier in the match playing havoc for him this afternoon. Don't forget you can find us on social media, MacArthur Sports Radio and Group 6 League Live on Facebook. Love to hear from you this afternoon. Let us know where you're listening. If you're not in the local area, let us know where you are enjoying Group 6 Rugby League action at its very, very best. Well, mate, this is absolutely great. You know, like, uh, no Adam Campbell, no Bryce Ritchie Mans um, today. And uh, Richard Kilmeister is playing absolutely fantastic. It looks like he might be playing the whole 80 minutes because he hasn't I, had a breather yet today. I suspect he would be. So I don't know who they're actually switching for if they have to switch it around. Eddie Payer bending it you now. Oh, one and one. One and one, the flat. The whistle is given. Up from where I was, we were in an excellent position. I think that actually I thought it went in. I, I, I was about to say I thought it went in. It went in and it looked like it bent around the other side of the post. But I, I, I think the referee's in a good position to call that as well. And um, once one referee goes up, one referee goes down. That's the referee's call on that conversion. So conversion is given. One up, one down means referee's call. Referee Sheldrick ruled in favour of Eddie Payer, so he's got another conversion. Makes it 20 points to 12. On the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard, he's two from four this afternoon, the number seven. Much to the disappointment of Nick Crouch, you would have heard him fire up in our effects microphone down on the sideline. He was far from impressed with that ruling. Obviously, from his position, he thought it went out, which was not hard to see. Camden defending on halfway. There's the error they were looking for. There's the error they wanted. They'll get the scrum feet 20 metres in, western side, broadcast side of Harvey Shepherd Field. It's 2012 Roosters in the minor semi. Well, the Roosters really needed that try there to uh, extend their lead. And... Uh, now Camden have got a good opportunity now to hit straight back. They need to work hard now and just play some sensible football like they did last week. They need to complete some sets and put some pressure on the Roosters' defence. The game is certainly not beyond the Roosters, at the, uh, beyond the Rams at the moment. Only eight points down, a long, long way to go. Josh Goulton trying to do something about it. Gets to the outside, Josh Goulton to the 20. He's a back plate, Sutton. No, he can't stop him. No, he can't stop him. Try in the corner. Brilliant work there from Josh Dalton. Listen to the fans at Kirkham. Wow, what a great try there from the scrum set play. Josh Dalton ran around, used his pace. Unfortunately, Blake Sutton couldn't get there. Blake Sutton's got plenty of pace, but Josh Dalton, great try. Great hit back from the Rammers. 53 minutes gone. It's 2016 on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. And that was a brilliant try. Josh Dalton to the outside. 
took them on, backed himself. Blake Sutton came, Blake Sutton couldn't stop him. Try to the Rams in the corner. And they got the locals very vocal over on that eastern side. That Rammer chant went up straight away. You would have heard that in our microphones. The Rammer chant went up. They'll be crying up you Rammers if he kicks this from the touchline. The weird part is too, this kick is so crucial right now because that conversion that we saw down here a few minutes ago where the touch yards one up, one down and the referee's given it, this kick is so now crucial. Bruce Brown about 22 metres out, a blade in on the eastern side in front of the clubhouse. They're all lining the, the bottom floor of the clubhouse at Harvey Shepherd today. They will feed in, can rip the roof off if he kicks this to bring them back within two. 25 to go in the minor semi. Kick is on its way. No, he's got it! He's got it from the touch line. I thought he hadn't got it there, but he did. Flags go up. 2018 MacArthur insulation, 25 to go. Wow, what a conversion there from Chris Brown from the sideline. Didn't think it was going to get there. It just snuck over the crossbar. Great conversion by Chris Brown to get it back by, in by two points. This game is well and truly alive, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hope you're enjoying it on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. We're more than enjoying bringing it to you. The final 25 minutes for one of these clubs is about to take place. We don't know which way it's going. You don't know, so stick around and enjoy it with us here on MSR this afternoon. The Rams are away again, over the 30 to the 40. Great run there, 40 metres out, wide out of dummy half, stealing metres at will, over the Thirlmere 40, still going the replacement, still going, great run there. He made up our 50 metres, he'll play it 28 metres out, Brown begging for a penalty, not getting it. Out the back, Luke Peoples to the left-hand side, Patoa puts the ears back, can he get there? No. Two metres out from the line, eastern side of the field. They go out of dummy half, short side. That spin move doesn't work. Six more tackles, six, Mike, six more. Six more for the Rams. Two metres out, southeastern corner. Patoa, nothing silly. Tucks it under the right, takes the tackle. A metre out from the line. 15 in on the eastern side. What have they got here, the Rams? Back it comes, Peoples. Chris Brown shows it, shows it, straight through the middle, Chris Brown, that's brilliant. Another upright Rams lead again. Wow, that was a great set of six there from the Rams from that kickoff. They made 80, 90 metres off that set of six. And a, look at the Rams crowd going up right now. Absolutely fantastic. Chris Brown, the show and go, still got it. May have lost a bit of speed, but he still got through the line and got him to try right underneath the sticks. The most dangerous man on the field, Shane Turnbull, is the man with the football. Take the man with the ball. The old show and go, still a logistical play and a most vital play that can be used in a game of rugby league. The most dangerous man on the field is the man with the ball. And the Roosters didn't shut him down. The veteran number seven, he won't mind me saying that. The veteran number seven showed them how it's done and they lead by two. But the worst part is Thelmy defence right in the middle of that ruck for two tackles was so bad, I have to say the word bad, is that they just made so many yards and the big boys just could not control the little fellas running up the middle. Brown to make it a four point lead for the Rams. 22 to go in the minor semi. A long way from home here. Only a two point margin, it's about to be four, you would think. Unless he has a Sean Timmons moment, it should be a four point margin. He puts it through, 24 20. Camden leads still me. MacArthur insulation scoreboard. We've got 22 minutes remaining of a thrilling minor semi final. And around the grounds in this afternoon's NRL, full time between the Sharks and the Bulldogs. Sharks 30, Bulldogs 18. And it is. Nine minutes into the first half, it is Brisbane, six, mainly yet to score. Around the grounds for Rugrats Rugby. We'll keep you up to date with all the NRL action during the final series. As we get back underway, next passage of play. Rizko's taking the hit up. Beats Gr great, great tackle by Field Mosca. Great run from Dean Rizko. Kill Mr. made the tackle. Penalty's going to go to Camden. Not rolling away in the tackle. Penalty count 
I've got it at only 3 2 in the sec in the match. They haven't made many penalties at all. Mike. That was a great run there from Rizko. Got 20 metres there and got himself a team, a well deserved penalty. Four fights. Ball straight into the. Uh, Touch into the touch judge which make everybody a moment's uh, respite here. Chris Brown gives it off. Straight through the line. Out the other side. Ben Powers to the 40. Great run there. He'll play it now. To the left hand side they go again. There's Pollard within 32 metres of the line. Stay with us on MSR this afternoon. This will be our ripper of a finish. Big Benny Weir rolling up the middle. Had Grisco on his right hip. Couldn't get the ball away. Nine metres out under the post at the southern end. Here come the Rams. To the left-hand side they go. Short ball was a good one read by the Thilmy defence. They had to read that like tomorrow's front page. They held it five metres out. Is Steely Brown taking on the line, not getting through. Good defence there from the Roosters. Arm goes up from Sheldrick. Last tackle. Back they come to the right-hand side. Steely Brown. In fact, Luke Peoples, Chris Brown. Little grubber kick into the end goal. Off the upright, sat up for Thirlmere. It'll be a repeat set from another post at the southern end. 24-20 Rams lead. 20 to go in the minor semi on MSR. Listen to the Rammers fans. Wow, here we go. The Rammers crowd are now getting alive now. It's taken a while, but they're getting there. Great little grubber kick in there by Chris Brown. Hits the upright, gets himself a repeat set, and then he pays out to restart play with a long gold drop out. At the southern end of the ground, they're making interchanges. It looks like uh, Saar Patiolo back on the field. Payer, high, deep. 50, Four, on, the 50 on the fly. Dean Risco say, says, give it to me. Runs into four roosters. Makes it to 31 metres out. 15 in western side. White in a dummy half. Goes short. Finds his lock in Luke Pollard. Takes another 10. 22 metres out. That's where they play it. 22 in western side. Benny Weir tucks it under the right. Beats one. Doesn't beat the second. Jack Green around the hips with a beauty. 13 metres out. Pollard. Steely Brown, in fact that's Huxley for the line, no he's short by fractions, I thought he was about to reach out and get a double, but Corey White gets a try, no, no try, knock on, no try, knock on, back to the 20, Phil me hold on by a fingernail, 18 and a half to go, 24-20, Phil me trail some minor semi. Well I thought Luke White had that then. Oh, here we go. Optional restart. Optional restart. It won't find the line though. It won't find the line. Steely Brown scurries back. Did it go into touch? They're saying no, it didn't. No, it didn't. It stayed in the field of play only just. Thirmia yeah. have it. Camden have it. Ten out from their own line at this uh, at the northern end. Great well, option there from Eddie Payne to do that optional restart. Unlucky that Paul nearly found a touch. Almost found the touchline. Hopefully the voice holds out for the next 18 minutes. Shane, you're on standby. I'll hopefully get through to the end of this. This has been an epic day of football here at Camden. Time off, 17.47. Thank you very much. I think we all need a breather here. The referee's wandering over. Can I have a chat to the trainers here? to find a way through but doesn't 28 meters out from the line we've got a camden player down in back lane he's in trouble i think it's an elbow jack davy jack davy keep an eye on a great hit there luke pollard he's playing straight to the sideline he's in all sorts i think it's an elbow he's carrying the left arm keep an eye on it straight away going on nick daly into the defensive line penalty for me meanwhile for a high tackle around the head Payer kicks for line. This time he definitely gets his touch. 30 metres out. 
four points the margin. This one could well and truly go beyond 80 minutes. afternoon the lights have just been flicked on they certainly are needed here it's been a very dull day the camera flashes certainly light up the afternoon sky here at harvey shepherd field 18 meters out kill mr for thurlby dane craig spots half a gap nearly through the other side the number six pulled down seven meters out he'll come back to the left hand side eddie payer shows it shows it finds a runner on the outside that's big jake anthony cherrington Sherrington within two metres of the line. Out of dummy half, a little scoot. Does it score? No. Short by centimetres. Justin Smith had a crack. Kill Mr. Out of dummy half. Does he get it down? No, it's a turnover on the last. They held on by a fingernail. 24-20 Camden. We're down to 15 and a half or 16 minutes remaining in the minor semi-final. This is a thriller here at Camden. We've certainly saved the best for last here on MSR. Hope you're loving it wherever you are around the region or around the world via MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Mike Sheen and Shane Turnbull with you for the call this afternoon. There's Camden trying to bring it out of their own end. I think that's Matthew Tedesco to within a metre or two of the 30. Back to the left, the right hand side, Dean Rizko up the middle. Good run from Rizko over the 40. Plays at eight metres short of halfway. Good run there from the veteran front rower. Bruce Brown says, let's get out of here. Richie Kilmister says, no, you don't. Can they fall on it? No. It goes in a touch. 35 metres out. It should be a Camden scrum feed. I think that's what he's going to rule it is. Camden scrum feed. 35 metres from the line. Camden's into the ground. 20 in western side. Corey White having a spell down below us. He's worked very hard this afternoon. He certainly has, Mike, and that was the right call too. It was a charge down by Richie Kilmeister, and he had to get in the ball to uh, stop that ball from being uh, reset there for the uh, for the Ramers for another set of six. They feed and win the scrum. Peoples turns it inside. Patola up the middle. Can't get through. 15 short of halfway centre field. Northern end. We... Takes it up the middle, good run there, Benny Weir. Back slammed into the turf a couple of metres short of halfway. 14 and a quarter minutes remaining in the minor semi. The Rams lead by four. Can they keep their season alive? Will the Roosters fire another shot? I'm sure they will. Pollard, inside ball, Luke Peoples to the quarter. Inside the 10 now, pulled down 10 metres out. In fact, it was Seely Brown. Peoples into dummy half, right side Chris Brown. They've got numbers, Josh Goulton. No, are they going to pay it? I think they're going to pay it. They are. I tried to get Josh Goulton down the right flank. I thought they were going to call it for a forward pass, but they didn't. The Rams out by eight. 28-20, MacArthur insulation scoreboard. Wow, well, great try there from the Rams. Great ball there from Chris Brown. Still got it for a person who's not quite uh, a, as they say, the, one of the older players of the team, but he actually is. Um, a great pass for Josh Gordon. Uh, great try, but uh, definitely wasn't a forward pass. The touch judge looks at the last pass and stays back out and uh, makes sure that the try is actually legally scored not by going into touch or touching goal. So the try is scored. Josh Gordon has a double this afternoon. Two in the second half, two in 14 minutes. It's 28-20. We've got 13 minutes remaining in the minor semi-final. Chris Brown barking orders as he lines up this conversion attempt. It'll be about 18 metres out, 20 metres in on the western side of Harvey Shepherd Field. The clock just starting to become a factor for the Roosters. Got a little bit of issue. I'm going to the uh, security issue for some reason. We'll focus on the football though. Jack Green having a spell, so Paddy Ole about to go back on. Brown, 18 out, 20 in, rest inside to make it a 10 point margin in favour of the Rams. He's got it. No doubt in that one. He's got five from five this afternoon. Chris Brown, 30 points to 20. Camden leads 
Thormier in the minor semi-final. And the locals are still cheering over there. They're still standing there to support their team. A nice little crowd up at the clubhouse and uh, pressure ground here on the, on the, west, on the eastern side. Around the 40 metre line. Nice little crowd out of the Rams supporters supporting their club this afternoon. They most certainly are. Eddie Payer goes to short kickoff. Bounces off Chris Brown's chest. That'll be a knock on. Scrum feed to Thelmere. The tactic worked. Trying to get the ball back. They went for the shallow restart. They didn't get it back automatically, but they got it back on the bounce. Yeah, he couldn't take that one a short lead. That was just hit too hard. That was oh, sorry, wrong game. Yeah. <laughs> We're not too far away. Right, the summer season officially beginning. That's what the Roosters needed right now. It's a good field position. A full set of six at their disposal. Ball in and out. Referee says no. We'll do that again. Inside 11 minutes. In and out this time. Kilmister. Finds Blake Sutton. Nearly found out on short kick on the way through. Kind of an obstruction there. Referee said no. He's okay. I agree with him. 32 metres out. Oh, he would have loved that. Oh, I would have loved to see him get in. I think a lot of people might have enjoyed that as we see Paddy Ole to the quarter now. Stick with the football, 10 and 20 to go. 30 and 20, the scoreline, Camden leads it. Craig directing traffic, turns it inside, get out of the way. Cherrington. Cherrington laid one out, great run there. Loco. Long ball out wide to the left hand side, Justin Smith, Alan Shipley for the corner. No, he gets it back inside. Steely Brown comes up with it, knock on Camden. Knock on Camden, scrum feed, fill me. Voice is barely holding out. Ten minutes left in the minor semi-final for MacArthur Sports Radio. MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. Camden 30. Thelmere 20. Got some wounded shoulders, soldiers down here for Thelmere, but Shipley did awesome there to uh, nearly get into the corner, but nearly got put into the touch. Nine and a half. 9.37 remaining in the minor semi. Camden out by 10. You wouldn't want to call it just yet. Uh, really it's uh, nine and a half to go. We still tell me score here. It's a two point or four point ball game. So they still got to score twice to get it there, but to possibility. And we've got an incident on report here. I'm not quite sure what happened, but the incident has been placed on report. Looks like there's no, no penalty to either side, so we'll get back underway. Scrum feed goes the way of the Roosters. Shocking pass picked up by Luku. Loco winds up that big frame of his. Says, I'm coming through. Get out of the way. Eight metres from the line. He'll play it on the first. Kill Mr. Dummy half. Payer juggled it. Did well to hold it. Paddy Ole takes on the line. In fact, that's Rowie Poru losing ground. Eventually, Dane Craig wrapped up with it. 15 metres out. Just to the right of centre field. Paddy Ole up the middle, good run from Saar to the 10 now. Has had time around the traps. Kilmister, Payer, inside ball was a lovely one. That's a great run there from Thilme. Did he get it down? Yes, he did. It's Rowley Polru with the try. Nine minutes left. It's 30-24. They needed that one on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. Certainly did. Rowley Polru, what a great try. Good strength. Muscled three or four defenders all over him, gets the ball down right next to the upright, and the filmy supporters just down here in front of us next to their dugout are all cheering and getting on board now. 8.20 remaining, 30-24 for MacArthur Insulation. We heard the replay there for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers, level 1, 110 Queen Street, Campbelltown. Eddie Payer to make it a four-point game with eight minutes to go. Well, if a player's been put on a report, I'm sure Paul's there's no penalty. Well, I didn't see a player get put on report. It was the incident. The conversion was successful, by the way, 30-26, eight there. minutes left. If that play was put on a report or in that play, you'll be able to count that penalty, but put places that incident on a report, then uh, they can look at it later on and charge Try them if so, so needed. And I'm just hoping that uh, nothing came, comes out of that incident. And, um, well, no I'm not quite sure what the incident was. I'm still confused as to what Neither actually happened. All, I didn't see anything down there. No, I didn't see anything in that incident, so I'm a little confused as to what they've actually placed on report. 
uh, out of that passage of play. Well, earlier on too, Mike, we had the uh, possible eight-point try in the yes. earlier game. And that was actually for leading in with the legs when he tried to stop the try. Oh, OK. Thanks for that. That's so that was... Uh, so that's what that was for. Um, if it was any more dangerous than that, if it made contact, possible contact ahead, it may have placed the player on the court. But it was just leading in with the legs to try and stop the try, which you cannot do. No, certainly not. Call me 5.30 short of halfway. Seven minutes remaining in the, in the minor semi. Four points the margin. 50 metres away from scoring and taking the lead. They're on halfway. Clubhouse side, Risco trying to roll out of the way. Kilmister, Payer at first receiver. Now, Dane, in fact, it's Blake Sutton. I thought it was Dane Craig. Sutton ragdolled by big Benny Weir. Pulled down 43 metres out. Last change from the Cannons coming on. Last tackle now, Woody Payer. It's the kick away under pressure. High kick taken well. Steely Brown did brilliantly to take that one. 25 metres out from the line in centre field. 6.15 to go. 30-26. Tandon in front by a nose in the minor semi final. The loser goes home. The winner goes to Thelmy next Sunday. Both teams have one interchange remaining by the looks of it. They can just made their last interchange. Benny Weir's just come off. Benny Weir's off, so they're out of 17 changes. has just come back on. So that's Junior Wright. Weir's out for the day. Barring a blood bin replacement. Hampton, eight short of halfway. There is Junior Wright. Took it behind him. Did well to hold on to it. A couple of metres inside. Camden's attacking half his told to go yeah, back the referee and play held and just offloaded the ball at the same time. Chris Brown, dummy half, punches it downfield. Low grubbing kick. Sits up for Blake Sutton. Ten out from his own line. Wheels to his right. Won't find a way through there. Won't find a way back on the left either. 5.20 to go. It's a four-pointer in the minor semi. Camden in front, 30-26. Will they hold on? Will the Roosters find a way through this line? They've got 70 metres left. Kent plays it 30 metres out. Through the hands. Big hit there on Loco. Great defence there from the Rams. He got it out the back to Dane Craig. Craig puts the ease back but loses the ball. Loses the ball in the tackle. Lights really taking effect here in the dying stages. Camden and Thilmy have made their last change of the day. They're down to their 13 on the field. And we're down to 4.35 remaining. In the minor semi-final, Camden 35 metres out in front by four. Fatoa plays it. Bell for Wright. Good run there, Junior Wright. He's been good off the bench. 30 metres out from the line. Bell, Chris Brown to the right-hand side. Steely Brown. There's Nick Daly on the field. He'll finish on the park. 20 metres out. Steely Brown, Chris Brown, unrelated. Luke Peoples round the back, not obstruction. Play on. Peoples nearly through the line. Nearly came out the other side. Nice saving tackle, Kilmeister. That was a big play there. Chris Brown, little grubber kick into the in goal. Taken by Thelmy. Taken by Thelmy. Line drop out. 3.50 to go. They hold a four point lead. The Rams. 30 26 it is. Listen to the Ram of Chant. Go up one more time. Kind of watch a short drop kick here, but uh, I think uh, Keenan might be home, but you just can't say too early because well, then not, we can score pretty quick. I'm not going to call it as over. He's not going to stay in the field of play. No, he's won't. It's out by several metres. It's out by several metres. Penalty to Camden, 10 metres out directly in front. And the signal has already yeah, come to take the, the two. two. Take the two, wind down the clock, smart play. Three and a quarter, although it does make it a six point game. It does make it a six point game, but I'd rather have six points and a four point lead with this time to go. Yes. Because it's converted try, keeps you in the game. If someone has got to score, they've got to score a converted try. To send it to Golden Point. point. Jake Mullaney. I think there's on only the been bench. one game this final series that I'm aware of that's actually gone to Golden Point. This final series, and that was, was in week one. Was that week the one, that was reserve. Great no, no, that no. was the second division game between uh, Barrel and That's right, Norellan. Norellan. Norellan got away with and that Norellan one. Norellan got away with that one. An extra time, it didn't help the Jets' cause. They went out 
Her barrel went out that day. Yes, and they Norell, went out last night. Norell went out yesterday. Bruce Brown, 10 metres out, directly in front. Clock continues to run. 2.25 to go and counting. And the girls are going to get later on some inquiring about the video services provided. Conversion was successful. Conversion was successful. Was successful. Well, the penalty conversion was successful. Yes. So Brown has six from six. Two minutes remaining. He's getting ready for the short race time. Looks at it. 78 minutes gone. He's off. Short kickoff now. No, it wasn't a short one. It's gone deep for Dean Rizko. Dean Rizko will bring it out of his 18. Two minutes remaining. Down to 145. 32 26. Camden in front. In the minor semi final, their season in front by a nostril here at the moment. Filmy will get at least one set to try and score and level the match. Goulton. Five metres short of halfway, 15 in western side, 120 to go. He's been good this afternoon for the Rammers. He's been excellent. Bell to the left hand side for Pollard. Just a hit and spin run. Nothing fancy there, 45 metres out. Surely they would take the point if it was on offer. 66 seconds to go. Peoples gives it off. There's Huxley up the middle, 40 metres out, 38 in fact. Under a minute left. Under a minute. Do they look for the one? Brown, no, he's going to go for the touch line and find it. 35 metres out from the line, 20 in western side. 47 seconds to go, they can still got time to pack the scrum and uh, it's not the NRL rule, he may not be not by time off. No, he's not going to call time, so Camden leisurely getting their six to the scrum. Now they get it in. Siren sounds in the background. This will be the final play. Loco swamped by Patoa. Ball out the back. Play on Dane Craig. Kicks over the top. It's in open space. It'll find the touchline. Will it? Yes, Camden win. Camden wins the minor semi-final. They're through to the preliminary final at Thurman next Sunday afternoon. Full time here at Harvey Shepherd Field. Camden 32. Thurman 26 at full time. What a thrilling semi-final. The Rams are alive. They're going the long way around. They'll have to win all four matches to lift the Norman L Day Cup. What a thrilling finish to the minor semi-final this afternoon. Shane Turnbull's down at ground level. We'll head to him in a moment and get some post-match reaction from on the field. Let's see if we can find for a chat at ground level. 32-26 the final score. Chains at ground level. I'm going to try and uh, grab uh, Nick Crouch. Can I get a chance there, Mike? Okay, so we'll see if we can Nick, Shane from MacArthur Sports Radio. Tough game this afternoon. What are you taking out of that one to go into next week? Uh, yeah, mate, it was a really tough game. They, they turned up. Um, well, they got some good plays in there, so that's an NRL standard. And they, they definitely show that to me. Um, for us, what do I take out of it? Um, we've still got a lot of improvement to do if we want to win the grand final. We've still got one more, one more game next week against the Oaks, and uh, we can get them done and dusted and move into the grand final. No worries, thanks, Nick. Congratulations. Shane Turnbull, touchline for MacArthur Sports Radio.com. Group 6 League Live, full time. Camden 32. Defeating Thirlme 26. The Thirlme players are standing around on halfway. Might see if we can uh, find one of the Roosters players or officials for a chat after the match. Disappointing result for Thirlme Roosters, who would have been warm favourites this afternoon going into the game. 32 26, they go down. Handshakes all around. The Rams are celebrating two from two in the finals campaign of 2018. I don't think we're going to get any more interviews from the field, so we'll get Shane to come back up to the commentary box. We'll take a break here on MacArthurSportsRadio.com when we come back. The analysis of the minor semi final. Camden are through to a preliminary final with the Oaks. 32 26 was the final score. We'll be back with more in a moment. Stay with us on MacArthurSportsRadio.com.
Oh, no, well, that's better. What is wind? Not anything. Not anything. 